Hello, I'm Kelly and welcome to my channel Animal Instinct. It is Tuesday the 29th of December 2020 and I'm here to share my cross stitch finishes for the year. Coming to you from a different location so hopefully the sounds okay and I have an assistant today this is Jack. Can hello. You say hello? <laughs> He's gonna be my helper. So we've got lots of things it's a little bit windy we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Um, I filmed my whip parade yesterday, so that's my works in progress, all the things I'm still working on. And I had 42 active projects and I worked out that I'd had 51 starts this year, which is a bit silly, don't you reckon? Yeah. yeah. Um, however, I also surprised myself with 41 finishes. So let's, let's go through them. Um, the vast majority uh, are small pieces that I'm going to put um, together into a quilt and I'll, I'll get to that later um, but let's get started so the very first one is my B oops, by Lorna Lane a gecko rouge kit I had this framed recently um, I started this one in August in 2018 and I was about I think it was two thirds of the way done at the start of this year and I decided to just push on through and, and finish it. Uh, I finished it in April and it's just been languishing in my wardrobe all year till I got it framed recently. It's on 25 count Lugana one over one pool crosses, um, a, a kit. I put in 21 and a half thousand stitches this year. And they were really generous with their floss. I've got heaps left over. Um, so yeah, it wasn't close to running out of anything. All right, the next one. I've kind of grouped them into rough categories. So these are kind of the larger pieces that need that need framing or you know finishing. Thanks, Jack. This is the Woodland Sow. By Jureen Jones. <laughs> Not sure what that noise was. <laughs> um, you can purchase this through Lakeside Needlecraft. It was a year-long sow that started Sally's Stitch Along. Yeah. Um, it started on the 1st of July in 2019 and a different animal came out each month um, for 12 months and I, I kept up to date with this one. Um, stitched one animal a month for 12 months, finished it in June this year. It's on 28 count even weave in Woodland. It was the called for fabric. Um, I love this one. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So you can take the little pegs off that one if you like. Yep. Get ready for the next one. Um, if you're interested in watching someone stitch this one, Amy from Amy Loves Toads has just started it and it's looking really good. That one's next. We won't worry about the board for that one. So number three, that's the way. That's the way. I will cut you by Lucy Beam, loving stitches. A little bit higher, Jack. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> um, I started this in April this year, finished it in October. It's on 20 count, but Bellana, Bellana even weave. Didn't really like this fabric, it's quite chunky. Um, it's stitched on pretty much the cold for floss except one of them I didn't have I got something similar and this is fabric that I coffee and tea dyed myself what did you think when you saw the fabric Jack before I told you what I thought coffee had been spilled all over it <laughs> and you were right Just by really. looking at the back yep he was right <laughs> um, I actually think this is this might end up in my 2020 Quilt. I'm not sure yet, but um, I love the snark and I had a bit of <laughs> frustration, shall we say, this year at work. So this kind of reminds me of all of that. So it might go into the quilt too. Yeah. Yep. Okay, next one. Yep. I started some Lindy Stitches pieces. That's the way. Um, it's going to be easier if we go. Yep. So this is the first Lindy Stitches piece that I finished. Can you get it? No, I can't. <laughs> you can do it. 
Got it. That's, good. That's okay. fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. Do you want to hold it up? Yeah, sure. Up a little bit higher. Perfect. So this is Lindy Stitch's Beautiful Things. Stitched on 36 count linen from Jay's X Stitch in Mulberry. I stitched it with the Cold 4 Classic Colour Works and DMC. Loved stitching on this one. Um, I spent 18 days working on it. Uh, started it in July and finished it a month later in August. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. But I loved it so much, I went straight on to her next release. I'm going to grab that one. We probably don't need the board for this one. And this is Dracula's Confession. It's upside down. Oh, it is? <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Oh, yeah, it's confusing. I know, it is confusing. Up a little bit higher. That's the way. Um, so that's Dracula's Confession. Yeah, you got it. By Lindy Stitches, stitched on the Cold for 32 count even weave in Murky. Um, do you want to go a little bit closer, Jack? Yeah, sure. That's the way. There we go. Can you see how you can see it well there? Yeah. Um, I didn't have the Cold for Dinky Dive and it was a bit hard to source for the, the grey in the back, so I used a silks for you that I had. Um, once I started stitching on this one, I couldn't stop. I loved it. And I finished it in five days. Um, so that's really cool. Five days is pretty quick for something like that as well. It is, yep, yep. I didn't really want to do anything else. It was a shame I had to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last of the bigger pieces will pop on the board. That's the way. Um, this is Seeking Refuge by the Scarlet House. That's the way, got it all in. Yep. Um, this one also loved stitching on, very apt for this year. I kind of personalized it a little bit. I made the cat, uh, one of my cats, Jemima, and this one, the other cat, Reggie, and I changed the text here. Um, to say, during, yeah, during this year of the pandemic, 2020. Um, I think the text works really well for this year. It's stitched on 40 count linen, picked to this plus Ren. And I kind of chose uh, fabric uh, floss, sorry, in my stash that was similar to what was suggested. Um, but I, I don't think any of it really is the same except for possibly the 310. Um, I love this piece and I now have the companion piece Thank you, Liz, um, that I hope to stitch soon too. Okay, we can pop that one down. We probably don't need the board anymore, I don't reckon. Okay, yes, so next up is a monthly series. Yeah, so we start with September. So this is the Joyful World series from the Snowflower Diaries started stitching these in September and now I'm doing a, a sale with Deb Wilson where we're stitching um, each month in the month that it's cold so I'm, I'm considering these separate finishes um, I'm not yeah they're, they're separate finishes I guess because they, they will be cut apart and finished separately eventually so there's September that's the way we've got October thanks Jack and so this is on 18 count Ada Heart in Heartland by Picture This Plus. And then November's in there too. Yeah. It's November. And then I didn't have enough um, of this uh, to stitch all 12 on. So we've also got December also on 18 count Ada. You can pop that over here. Okay. And it's on, it's Vintage Country Mocha. What did you say when people come to the shop, your dad's shop? Uh, people ask for mochas and we're like, it's a mocha in Australia. <laughs> yep, his dad has a coffee shop, doesn't he? Yep. <laughs> so there's December. So looking forward to carrying that on into the new year. Thank you. Um, all right, the next one is that bag. Yep. So this one is just a small finish. It's not quite fully finished. But it's a series of, oh, you can probably hold that up if you like. Yeah, I'll hold it. It's a bit tricky. 
um, magnets with a sewing theme. So I've done the scissors, the little stalk scissors, and some perforated plastic, which isn't so much fun to stitch on. Uh, these are the rest that I have to do. So it came with everything. It's from mybobbin.com. It's from Russia. Yeah. It came all the way from Russia. <laughs> Uh, it's even got the magnets on the back, but I haven't got that far. Okay, what's next? Yep. So now I've got some fully finished things that I've finished off and they're functional or decorative or whatever. So the first one is the Victorian Lavender Scissor Fob. This is a kit that my mum bought in Scotland I think yep. and then I stitched it for her. Um, I think I'd put one day on this, I think I'd started it for years ago in 2018 and put one day and then I finished it this year in Mania and I've just turned it into this thing. <laughs> Given it, what, what do you call it? What do you reckon I that should do? A decoration. a decoration, yeah. Um, and it's at my mom's house. Okay, now underneath the bag, yep, the slug. No, not the bag yet, but that's that's coming, that's alright. The, the slug? No, that one. <laughs> I keep forgetting what <laughs> this is. This is P-Roy. It's bright, isn't it? Yeah. What did you think P-Roy was doing? Uh, I call? thought he was going to formal. Yeah. It looks like he's going to formal because he's wearing a bow tie. Yep, P-Roy off to the formal. <laughs> uh, this is by Stacey Nash Primitives. Um, I started it in April this year and finished it in May. It's on 32 count linen um, from R&R. &R. It's the hollow blend um, colour. I worked on it for seven days and I've just filled it with um, crushed ornaments. So there's Mr. P. Roy going to formal. Uh, yes, yeah, so oh, actually the bag first, this one. So next. <laughs> This is Love Sweet Love Stitch Along from Brittany at Ingleside Imaginarium. Uh, she released um, these animals, I think it was one a day for 12 days, something like that, earlier this year. Um, come in nice and close. Yeah. So it's two animals from each of them, each continent except Antarctica. And I just turned it into a project bag. Um, so it's nothing exciting inside, just calico. Um, that's that one. Yeah, so now we're up to those ones. We'll do that one, that one first. Whoa, you can just watch those. Um, <laughs> let's put P-Ray on there to weigh them down. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so next one is the Chipping Sparrow Biscoy Nest from the Crossed Wing Collection. Uh, I started this at the end of last year. It's on 28 count antique white linen. It's stitched full coverage, so it doesn't really matter what you stitch it on. Um, it's mainly two over two, except for the eggs are stitched one strand of um, floss over one. Do you want to take it in closer? Yeah, sure. Yep. Ah, uh, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way. And then turn it around to show them what it looks like. Yep. Good. That's the way. And then to go with that, there's also we, a bird that I'm not sure what it is. It's the Chipping Sparrow yes. um, portrait. <laughs> Just come back. <laughs> it's hard, it's isn't hard it? <laughs> there we go. So that's the Chipping Sparrow portrait. And it's stitched two over two, except the. Let me just have a look, Jack. I can't remember. Right. Yeah, that whole front piece um, inside the border is one over one. So they, they're kind of a pair. Um, I've got the next one in the series, I think is the Cardinal, which I feel like I should probably start at some point. Um, yep. So next one. This is the COVID Christmas Santa from Beverly Street Shop on Etsy. Um, I stitched it in three days. It's on 16 count Ada. It's picture this plus icon. And I finished it into a hoop. Do you want to show the, the side and the back? Yep, so there's some sparkly ribbon. Yep. You like that one, Jack? Yeah, quite. Yeah, I'd 
quite right. like it. It's, yeah, it's good for the time of year it is currently. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. That can just go there. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we're rushing through, but that's all right. We'll get there. So the next, um, the next little group are pieces that I stitched this year that aren't necessarily um, from the Be Well and Stitch sort of movement, which I'll get to next, but um, I think they fit with the theme of the year, so yeah. they'll probably go on, on my little quilt, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. So first one, go in nice and close, that's the way. So we've got Stiotch Alone number eight. It's a stitch along by Stiotch, and it happened back in May and June. It's on 16 count white Ada. Um, normally they don't tell you what the design is going to look like, but this time they did just to make it easy for everyone. They also allowed us to pick our own, uh, you're right? Yeah, it's painful. <laughs> it's a workout. Can, yeah, it's a workout, isn't it? Um, we picked our own colours. You just had to pick six colours um, contrasting from light to dark. And I love how it's turned out. And that fits perfectly with my little quilt. So that'll go on there. Next up, I haven't shown this finish. This is my bat by Tatiana Vittoria. Um, I can find her details if, if you're interested in finding the pattern. This was a freebie that I found earlier this year. I stitched it sort of between October and December. It only took me five days, so it wasn't too long. It's on 18 Count Ada, Wicked Witch by JD Redesigns and on DMC. And I nicknamed him Brian. <laughs> you yeah. like that name? Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> So that'll, he'll go on my quilt. Um, he's kind of Halloween-y, but I figure, you know, bats were topical this year, so. Right, next. This one I knocked out in a day. It was a freebie at the Mittagong Retreat this year. I did not. <laughs> I just fold it so it's... Yeah, that's fine. I didn't um, center it very well on the fabric. <laughs> There's another piece stitched on the same fabric. There's not too much of a margin. This is from the Witchy Stitcher Boo Sheet. Um, it's on 28 count opal cashew linen, um, Owl's Dark Magic by um, Chromatic Alchemy. And it's just in DMC and I just think it's great. You didn't really get it, did you, Jack? No, 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 no idea. So there's a little coronavirus up the top there. So that can go on the on the quilt. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So next one is from Lindy Stitches, the mystery sow that she did. Um, it's stitched on 28 count even weave um, by Sassy Devils. It's a spring bouquet. Um, and she is riding her Komodo dragon. Um, this was a quick stitch too. It's, this one is um, to, um, you're right. <laughs> This was part of the Representation Matters, Inclusion and Diversity, um, all of those um, movements, I guess, this year. So that's a nice one that will go on the quilt. Next one is same series as the COVID Santa. It's the COVID Christmas Snowman, up nice and close. That's why. Um, by Beverly Street Shop on Etsy. It's also stitched on 16 count Ada. Picture this plus icon and DMC. Um, it's getting sunny. <laughs> we've, moved, yeah. we've moved seats a few times, haven't we? Yep. <laughs> the sun's following us. Um, I just decided I'd put that in too because it's, um, you know, it fits with the year. That's the way. <laughs> okay. What's next, Jack? I'm onto my next page of notes. We have a couple of Lindy Stitches pieces. And because I decided <laughs> not to make them into ornaments, they're going in the quilt. First, we have Cats Love Christmas. It's on 16 count Ada in Glacier by Picture This Plus. Um, I got it done in two days and I love it. And can you take it up nice and close? Yeah. I personalized the cats. So we've got Jemima. I was just that. Reggie, and that was an old cat of mine called Tiana. So that one can go in. Do they look like them? Yeah, kinda. Kinda? <laughs> Reggie's the one who looks the best, I reckon. Reggie looks the best? Yeah. Yeah. Without doubt. Do you like Reggie? Yeah. 
Is he naughty? Yeah. <laughs> this is the next one, also Lindy Stitches in the same series. This is Accident Free Days, and of course I've made that Reggie. Um, that's on 16 count, picture this plus um, Glacier. Uh, got it done in two days, and that's gonna go on the quilt because there's no way I could have had a Christmas tree this year, could I? What would he have done? <laughs> Attempted to at least. <laughs> okay, next is... <laughs> These are all... Now, how's your arm? Is good. it okay? It's good. We just had a little rest to, you know, rest the, the arms that were getting a bit sore. Um, the rest are all Be Well and Stitch patterns. So these are all released as freebies um, or gifts, I guess, as from designers earlier this year so that, to bring the, the stitching community together um, and give us something to do when we're sort of stuck in isolation at home. Um, and so I collected a whole heap of them. I haven't stitched as many as I wanted, but I kind of gave myself a deadline to be done stitching by the end of the year. Otherwise I'd just be stitching on them forever. <laughs> so the last two weeks I have been working diligently to get ex extras done. Um, and so there's a few here that I haven't shared before. So this is the first one, up nice and close, Jack. That's the way, uh, how about like that? Yeah, I can hold it. <laughs> Maybe you just pass them to me if your yeah, arms are a bit sore. Yeah. So this is the key by Barbara Anna Designs. It's on 18 count Ada, um, two over two DMC. It's on, the Ada is Green Dragon by JD Ree Designs. And this was actually, I did my top nine on Instagram. This was the number one post on Instagram. I'd love to do the um, partner piece. Um, it's called The Light with the Fox. I just ran out of time. <laughs> I'm kind of done. I, th I really think the attention to detail on that last one is really good. You like it? Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Att the attention to detail is just great. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Thanks, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, it's a clever, Barbara Anna is a very clever lady. Yeah. Okay, this one is... You're holding it the opposite way, I think. Okay, yeah. It's so, it's so neat that you can't tell which is the front and which is the back. Stop. <laughs> no. You're, you're abusing my sign. <laughs> so this is the drawn thread, be well. 32 count even weave, it's a scrap of purple fabric from Jay's X-Stitch. Oh, <laughs> here comes the wind. I love this one, it's really pretty. Next. You could even get the next one ready if you like. Cool. Um, this is Be Well by Heart in Hand, another scrap of Jay's X Stitch. Um, it looks like maybe turmeric or mustard or something. She uses natural things to dye her fabrics. Um, so that's Be Well, Heart in Hand. Makes it really eco friendly as well. Yeah, exactly. This one is. Be Well Mini Bouquet by Jeanette Douglas. Another scrap of linen. It's either 32 or 36 count. Maybe 36, I'm not sure. Um, I just use my own colors and like I like that one. There are a lot of similar sort of designs with flower pots and bees. Um, and I just decided to just do a couple um, or one even um, so I could get a whole uh, wide range of, of patterns and designs in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is on another scrap of linen. I think that, that might be turmeric or mustard too. This is Just Stitch by Arlene Cohen, works by ABC. Do you want to take it in nice and close? Yes, sure. I used um, a number of Silks For You variegated up a little bit higher. There you go. Um, on that one, that's a really pretty one too. Thank you. And as you can see, a lot of these are just small, simple designs that don't take um, too long. Okay, I think the leaves, let's see. Yeah, the leaves go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next one. We're on the last page now. Yeah. <laughs> this is Red Berries from Irina Orgi on Instagram. Um, it's on 18 count Ada, another scrap. I think it's maybe tea dyed or something like that. Up a little bit higher, Jack. Um, hopefully we can see okay from the sun. <laughs> Uh, 
Where are we? Yep, that's all I need to say about that one. That's okay, let's pause. <laughs> Okay, next one is from Joan Elliott. Take it in nice and close, that's the way. It's called For You From Me, A Little Fairy. It's on 18 Count Ada in Da Vinci by Picture This Plus. I really think that if my if my little sister Ava was here, she'd be a big fan of this. Yeah. One, I th probably I think, her favorite one. I think so too, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Righto, what's next? This is Lou Paper by Jaeger and Yarn. It's on 28 count opal cashel linen in Amatentia by Chromatic Alchemy. You can take it in nice and close, Jack. It's a nice little play on um, the, the toilet paper shortage of this year, which I think it affected people yeah, all across the, the world even, not just in Australia. Yep. Yep. All right. Next up is yeah. Um, if you if you look close enough, it's actually Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz wearing COVID mask. Um, <laughs> it's pretty clever. Yeah, it's very clever. <laughs> I think this is by Charmageddon. That's all I could figure out from the pattern. Um, there's no place like home. It's on sixteen count Ada. Picture this plus fresco. I like that one too. Now this one is very bright, so <laughs> shield your eyes. It's a bit brighter than what I'd normally stitch. We're having wind problems here. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is Satsuma Street, Let's Stay Home. It's on um, Picture This Plus Bashful, it's 16 count Ada. So that will go in there. I know quite a few people stitched that one. This one is called Be Well and Sing by Art Mishka Cross Stitch. You can take it in nice and close. It's on 14 count Ada. It's Picture This Plus Thistle. It's a piece I bought in America a few years ago and I never knew what to do with it. Um, and this, it says made in Italy. So I think the designer is from Italy. You're losing it there. <laughs> um, and it just reminded me of people singing on their balconies um, earlier this year. We're almost there now. Now, this one is a great one. This is a Plague Nurse by Night Spirit Studio. It's on 16 count Black Ada. Love it. Love it. It's a nice, simple one. I have my big Plague Doctor as a, as a whip, um, but this one was finished in no time. It's one of the ones I've worked on in the last oops, fortnight. You can see, hopefully you can see okay. Um, the screen's very glary, so who knows what you could see. Okay. I had a laugh when I saw that one. The nurse? Yep. Yeah, he, he liked that one. Upside. No. What? <laughs> this way up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Take it in nice and close. This is Wild Violet Cross Stitch. Um, uh, moon, crystal moon bouquet, moon crystal bouquet. I'm not sure. Sorry. <laughs> up, up, up. I think this one's so pretty. It's on 16 count. Picture this plus mirage. Can I take it in nice and close, Jack? Yeah, sure. There we go. Um, and I think it's just beautiful. That's another one that I finished in the last fortnight. Do you take this one? Can I please have the two bits? Oh yeah, go for it. Okay, and then we've got. There should be one underneath that one still. Oh yeah. yeah. So do we show which one we show last? Um, yeah, we'll do the little one last. Yep. I can hold that one if you like. Anyone? Yeah. So this one is Self Isolating Bat by also by the Night Spirit Studio. This is on the same fabric as the Witchy Stitcher piece, and I yeah I didn't give myself any room. <laughs> Oops. That's okay though. So it's 28 count casual linen, it's opal. Um, it was a bit hard to see because it's so dark, plus it's got the um, the opal, it's very hard to see the holes for the needle to go through. So I kind of started this months ago and it got set aside. When I pulled it out again, I realized I made a huge counting error. 
um, but it's fine. He's a little bit lopsided, but he's fantastic. Can I have 45 to help those? <laughs> yep. Okay, you got one? Okay. Okay, second to last one. Is that's the way. So this was from mybobbin.com. We come through together and it's got it's got it it had it in six languages. Do you remember what they are, Jack? Uh I'm pretty sure so English. Them. Yep. Um Spanish. Yep. yep. Say it nice and loud. So English, Spanish, What's that French, no. no, German, German, then that's Russian, yep, French, yep, and Italian, Italian, yep. Um, if I had time, I would have looked into seeing how to chart this in other languages. It would have been nice if there was, say, Mandarin or um, Arabic. I didn't have time, um, but the one other language I do know <laughs> is Indonesian. So the grammar is probably not 100% perfect, but I know it makes sense. So it's fine. So there's my sort of token extra language. I also ran out of room. So I think, um, I think I'm going to cut these up into strips and just scatter them throughout the, the piece. And then the very lucky last piece to finish out my finishes for this year is Bendy Stitchy Be Well Hamsa Design. Um, it's really pretty, simple, came together nice and quickly and different as well. Like I said, there are a lot of similar designs, so I wanted something a little bit different. Um, this is on the 28 count um, spring bouquet even weave um, that the Lindy Stitches Sal is also on. Actually, I forgot to mention this is um, 28 count linen. It's June by Chromatic Alchemy. Anyway, so that finishes up. <laughs> We're about to be taken away by the wind. Yep. <laughs> Blown away, aren't we? Yep. That finishes up my <laughs> pieces that I've finished in 2020 and I hope to put these together into a quilt very soon. Okay, so Jack's Jack's favourite pieces for this year. He loves this one, don't you, Jack? Yeah. And which is your favourite animal? Let's zoom in on him. Was it? The my favourite personally is the buck. Yeah. And you also liked the all the languages, didn't you, this one? Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. Excellent. So that's it for my video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been fun to go through them. It's been really good to have a helper. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, all good. Um, would you like to say anything, Jack, before we finish up? Uh, I hope everyone stays safe and well during this hard period of time. Thank you, Jack. That's very kind. All good. Yeah. We are thinking of everyone out there, all around the world, aren't we? Yep, no matter where you're watching them, thank you. Yep, excellent. So with that, we'll sign off and we'll see you again in the new year. See ya. See ya.